Gav, welcome to Charlton. How does it feel to be a Charlton player? Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, I'm buzzing to be here. Um, as soon as I heard of the interest, I was um, very keen to get the deal done. So, yeah, like I said, I'm delighted to finally be here. It's obviously deadline day, a bit of a, a busy time for everyone concerned. Um, when did you first hear about our interest? Um, yeah, the gaffer texted me um, last week and it, you know, it all happened quite quickly. So, um, obviously I was with Stoke. Um, I, sat on the I was on the bench there the other day. And then as soon as I happened, I heard the deal that more or less being been sorted so I had to get down straight on the road from um, Stoke so that was a tough day. <laughs> I had to pack up the place and then just straight down so but that's just obviously the nature of deadline day and it gets this close to the end of the window so I'm just happy to get it done. Dean our manager was obviously at Stoke at the start of the season so you do know him as you say. How important was he in, in this move? Yeah he was he was obviously very important. He was probably the main reason obviously um yeah as soon as he texted me you know you could see straight away by the things he was saying to me the ambition that he has um and obviously speaking to the lads and that since I've been in, they speak quite highly of Dean. And obviously, like I said, I've worked with him um, at Stoke and I really liked what I've seen. He's obviously a very positive character um, and tactically he knows his stuff. So yeah, as soon as he texted me, I was kind of all in on it, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm delighted to get here. And how would you assess your first half of the season? Is it fair to say you maybe had limited opportunities? Yeah, it's obviously not not, not gone to plan. Um, obviously, there's a couple of injuries in there towards the kind of the, the start on that um, and then like you said obviously the, the first manager got sacked and stuff like that which was a pity for me but yeah it's been tough the last couple of months um, I haven't got any playing time definitely not one here what I would have wanted but I'm just you know keen to get on the pitch now and show everyone what I can do. And prior to the start of this season you played an important role in, in helping Bournemouth get promoted how, how good an experience was that for you? Yeah that was amazing um, probably the best experience in my career so far so it was a brilliant season um, and yeah, I enjoyed it so much. So yeah, I just want to try to build on that now and hopefully show what I did last year and you know, show what I can do. Um, what do you think you learned from that, that season in particular? Well, it was probably my first real season, you know, my first breakthrough season and to get used to games, you know, Tuesday, Saturday like it is in League One and like it's going to be this going forward. So yeah, it was great exposure to that and obviously playing with top players at Bournemouth. So um, I hope that will stand me in good stead coming here. You said to us off camera that you've been at Bournemouth for quite a long time now. I mean, if you look back at the Gav Kilkenny who joined Bournemouth to the one now, how much do you think you've changed and learned and developed? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, when I came over, I was only a, just a young boy from Dublin. Um, I was 16, so I've obviously grown and developed a lot. Um, yeah, so I'm completely obviously different now. I think I've evolved as a player and obviously learned how to compete and how to, you know, obviously men's football now, so it's a different ball game. So it's, yeah, you want to just knuckle down now and get games and show everyone what I can do. And for Charlton fans who haven't seen you before, what, what can we expect from you? Um, I, I'm a, I'd say I'm a ball player midfielder, but um, I like to get stuck in and I bring a bit of energy in the middle of the pitch and, um, yeah, I want to, you know, get forward, but I, I like to try to do every part of the game from the midfield, defend and attack. So I don't want to be labelled as one or the other, I want to do a bit of both. Um, yeah, and that's it really. You may not be aware that in years gone by we've had a lot of players impress in the red of Charlton but also the green of Ireland. I know you've been capped at a youth level by Ireland. How important is your, your international career to you? Yeah, it's obviously probably the pinnacle of any international player but especially I think if you come from Ireland, you know, we're a very patriotic country so um, yeah, that's obviously probably the, the end goal I suppose you could say is to play senior international football for Ireland. So. Yeah, hopefully coming here, um, get the games and obviously push Charlton up the table, which is the main goal. And then if that can help me get in the senior team, then that'd be brilliant, yeah. And someone like someone like Josh Cullen, he really impressed here. And I know you may not know him personally, but looking at someone like him as a young Irish midfielder, how much sort of inspiration do you take from someone like him? Yeah, loads, yeah. Um, I knew he was here, yeah, I've heard about that. So, yeah, obviously you take a lot of inspiration from that and see how his career has gone since he's been here and the rise he's had and obviously now he's playing with Burnley, top of the league in the Championship, probably playing in the Premier League next year so it's definitely something to, to aspire to and obviously he plays a similar position and he's playing for this Ireland team like you said so yeah definitely someone that I'd look to, to emulate. And you're with us until the end of the season, what are you hoping to achieve in the next sort of five or six months? Um, like I said, 100% push Charlton up the table. I think they're definitely, even just seeing the training ground and stuff, I haven't seen the stadium, but it's definitely not a League One club, you know what I mean? It should be at least in the Championship, so we want to push up the table and have, um, at least get towards the playoffs and put in a real challenge for that. So we'll see what happens, obviously, and then personally just want to get back on the pitch. Very best of luck. Thanks very much.